Welcome back to UNX Fast Forward, your daily dose of everything Ninja. I'm Chris Ganji. And I'm Ethan Swanson. And tomorrow we're going to our next round of qualifiers to get into the second major event, which is going to be live here on December 14th. And tomorrow we have Center Court Lawrence. We're going to find top three men and women that are going to punch their ticket to that second major. Yeah, and so today we're going to look at our athlete predictions, who Ethan and I think are going to take those spots for that second and major. And I just got to say, I'm coming off a big W, a big win from the major event. And so uh, DeGange is going to have to do a little something at the end of the show. So make sure you guys hang out and see the punishment I got for him. <laughs> yeah, so today I'm going to try to redeem myself uh, and see who, Keywords I, try. <laughs> <laughs> see who I think is going to take top three men and women at center court. So I'm going to go ahead and start us off with the men's side of things. My top three athlete predictions in third place. I'm going to start with Joe Meisner. We saw Joe at the alternate routes open qualifier. He was the only finisher on that course, made it through the Salmon River, which I think is a testament to how strong this guy is and how much grip endurance he has. He took 10th place at our major event, and I expect him to come into center court and take third place. For second place, I'm going to go with Connor Galvin, somebody who didn't make it into our first major. He failed to qualify at alternate routes in Baltimore, but I think he's going to come into center court. He has a lot of strength. He has a gymnastics background. I think that favors him on the flying bar, which I think is going to be a very difficult obstacle, and I think he's going to take second place here. In first place, I'm going to go with a proven, consistent athlete, Joe Morovsky. It doesn't get much more consistent than him. We've seen him compete on stage three multiple times on American Ninja Warrior, and I think Joe's going to come into here and take first place, especially after not qualifying in Baltimore. I think there's a little chip on his shoulder, and he's going to come in and prove that he deserves to be in the major event. So choosing my top three men's predictions, my number three pick, I got to go with Michael Torres. He's a freak of nature. I trained with him. And not only that, but he crushed it. He took seventh place at the first major. He was the first qualifier, only behind Drew Dreschel at the UNX qualifier, to get to that first major. He's in his hometown. He's in New Jersey. He's going to have his fans there, his friends there, his family. Uh, I think he's going to pull together, take top three in that third place spot. Second place pick, I'm going with Joe Morovsky, the weatherman. You know, unfortunately, alternate routes, he didn't qualify qualify in the last round of qualifiers for that first major, but I know that Joe is a competitor and he's so consistent, that's not going to happen again. Uh, I'm putting my money down on him taking the second place spot, but number one, you got to go with Najee Richardson. This course, especially the toughest move, is literally a move that he practices all the time. Like He loves flying bars and he's so good, he's so strong. His gymnastics background, he gets so much loft whenever he does flying bars. I think he's going to have more time than anybody to do that reverse catch move. I think that's what this course is going to be about. Who can do that move? Who can break into the second part of the course, the last half? And I think Naj is going to be taking that first place spot. So Naj, Joe, and Michael Torres. But, I, you know, there are some other athletes we have to mention that I wanted to put in my top three, I couldn't. I think Caden Lebsack is going to do amazing. He's a great youth athlete, took second place in the World Finals. Yeah, 13 years old, but at the same time, he is no stranger to competition. Second place, like you said, at UNA Finals, and mm -hmm. this guy is so strong. Yep, another Lucas Real. I mean, I wanted to put in my top three. He's so good. He was in the Power Tower this past year in American Ninja Warrior against Dave Cavanaugh, and he's so so strong. And then somebody that didn't make either of our top three, Jamie Ron. I know. Well, I, the thing is, he went to two UNX qualifiers in the first round and didn't qualify. I know he wants it, but there are a lot of athletes here. Yeah, and I think you look at this field, and no matter who we pick, we're probably going to be wrong in some I, way. We're always <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Um, it's fun to debate, but you know it's going to end up who shows up at center court. There's so many athletes who can do it. But then let's go ahead and start with the women's side of things. My third place pick, I'm going with Olivia Colasano, and she proved that she's an athlete to watch out for in the first UNX major. She took fifth place, top five, which is amazing, and getting there, she took first place, and she took first place over Jesse Graff and over Barclay Stockett, so I'm expecting her to take top three. This is, a, I think, a, a super stacked field, so being top three is a lot harder here than we've seen in previous qualifiers. But second place pick, I'm going with somebody new, a fresh face, Abby Clark, fresh to UNX, but not fresh to the ninja scene, especially on the East Coast where there's such a stacked field of competitors. She's always on top. She's always doing really well and she trains really hard. She's been on American Ninja Warrior. She knows what the big stage is like. I'm expecting her with her gymnastics background, especially in this course, to do really, really well and take second place. And first place, I'm going with Casey 
Rothschild. She is a beast and alternate routes when she was on the East Coast before she took first place by a long shot. She was ahead of everybody else by multiple obstacles. So I'm thinking she's going to come out here, do the same thing again and prove why she's one of the best and why she took sixth place at that UNX major and make her way back to the second major event. And going for my top three picks on the women's side of things, in third place, I'm going to start with Rachel Brown. She took seventh place at our uh, major event, and she was a first place finisher down in Ninja Quest. And I think she's going to bounce back from that seventh place. She's going to come into center court and punch her ticket back to the second major. In second place, I'm going with Olivia Colasano. We saw her take fifth place at the major. She was so consistent. She made it to put a ring on it every single time she ran the course. And the consistency, especially coming out of Traverse Fitness, where she took first place among athletes like Barclay Stock and Jesse Graff, I think that she's going to go ahead and come into here and take that second place spot. And then in first place, I'm going with somebody who has not competed yet in UNX, and that's Abby Clark. I like what I see from Abby as an athlete. I think she's so strong. She trains here at center court, so there's a little bit of home gym advantage there, just being used to the gym. Um, so I think that in first place, we're going to see Abby Clark come out for the women. You know, I really just expect Abby to do really well at this competition. Yeah, I think both of us do. We both have her in our top three, and her gymnastics background is so strong, especially for this course. Yeah, and I mean, she didn't compete in round one of the UNX Open Qualifiers. Um, so now she's coming in. We, like we said, there are six females that have been to the first UNX major, and I think yeah. she's going to make her way in. Three of those women took first place at their UNX qualifier in the first round. So there are only three spots. This is going to be This is going to be tough. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a tall task to take one of those three spots. But if anybody, I think Abby's going to be the one to take first. We will find out because I disagree. <laughs> but, uh, but no, so now we actually have a sneak peek run. We're going to be able to see Najee Richardson's run, and, uh, and we'll check that out right now. Well, Naj, certainly looking good there on the flying bars, um, but it's yeah. all going to come down to that really challenging move. <clears throat> that is the toughest move. I think that's going to be the biggest ninja killer right there. Naj is so good. I'm excited to see what he does. And we can see all that action tomorrow. For right now, though, you got to do a little punishment. So, you know, why don't you just uh, start doing those floating cliffhangers back there? 
All right, well, I'm going to sign off here as I do chop, my chop. punishment. Chop, chop, chop. For you and X, I'm Chris DeGange, <laughs> and I'm about to go do a punishment. Yep. So, yeah, DeGange is going to go do that stuff right now, get a little bit of a workout. But uh, like we've been talking about, uh, Center Court Lawrence is tomorrow. You're going to be able to see all that action. And, uh, you know, come in, check it out. It's on unxnow.com. That's the first qualifier of four to get to the second major event. It's going to be live here on December 14th. But, uh, you know, we'll see you guys next week on your next Fast Forward. And I'm Ethan Swanson. We'll see you guys next time.